What's up everybody, it's your boy Neem here. Uh, I'm in a car right now uh, and I'm talking really loud because last video I was talking kind of quiet and um, you couldn't hear me for like half of the video. Um, j just like last video in which I was in a moving car, we are also uh, coming back from In-N-Out, Oregon. Uh, we have a shirt uh, from In-N-Out, Oregon. Um, we, we got another shirt, but it's all the way over there and I don't want to get it. Uh, don't know something that doesn't make any sense to me. There are all these people, right, who put all the software onto, like, uh, Arch Linux repositories, right? And they, they, they don't ha they have it, like, gnome-themed, not, my mom's looking at me all funny. She's trying to get me to laugh in my video. Uh, they, they, they have it, like, a gnome theme. Like, you look at the taskbar and it looks like a gnome, uh, applet. Uh, but you're using KDE, or you're using, um, maybe i3? I'm not sure how it works on i3, but I'm assuming that's how it works on i3. And it doesn't really make any sense. If, if you make a, if you make software, <laughs> so, if, if, if you make software, right, you shouldn't, uh, you, <laughs> stop, stop. If you make software, you shouldn't, um, put it on, uh, Arch Linux as like a KDE program and then have it look completely different. Do you wanna know what I hate, hate even more? Uh, <laughs> my mom's like an audience right now. <laughs> uh, do you wanna know what I hate even more? The, these people who put things onto the Arch Linux user repositories and it's literally just wine software through <laughs> wine. Um, and it doesn't make any sense. I don't, I don't know how anybody could think that's a good idea because if you want to run a win native Windows software, you would get Windows and or or you would just get it on your Linux machine and then run it through there. If you're doing something like that, right, it would make way more sense. But these people are just posting it as if it's native Linux software and that doesn't make any sense when really, if you really wanted to, you could just say that there wasn't any native Linux software and then you won't have to run possibly two wine instances at the same time, running two different versions of wine from two different folders, two different wine configs. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I don't know why anybody's doing it. It's not making any sense. Uh, Simu does this. Um, and I think a lot of other emulators do it as well. You would expect the, the game emulation open source crowd to be way more pro Linux, but um, all of their stuff, a majority of their stuff is only from for Windows and Mac OS, which doesn't make any sense. It's mainly the older, older stuff uh, that works on Linux. Maybe it has to do with like DirectX dependencies or something. Maybe they just use a lot of Windows stuff. Uh, but yeah, all right, see ya, dude.